Well, what do you know it's not? Uh... Deal with him, damsel. Whew. That Yeti, he was seriously trying to cut me off then, in mid-air. <sighs> but nope, he fell to his doom. Wet fur in here. You know what that means, guys. We got big boy. I find the best thing to do is throw a bomb, generally in his direction, and run off screen. Then, most times, you will manage to kill him. Ah, we've got spike boots. And we can push this block. Now that's a a, a knick-knack crapper whack shop. That might mean we can get. Why well, is there a nice block in his shop? Oh, I never know. I want it. Mm. Woo! Put the boots to your action. Toss them over there, and we're out. Oh, far from it. Mm, no contra. No. Oh, no. Oh, why did I do that? Go on there. And we just bomb our way through. Whew. Brilliant. Level 11. There has to be things right there. Oh. Oh, that was so lucky. Oh. Right. Well, while he's busy. Oh, come on. Luck is a major factor in this game. Oh, dear lord. Ah, oh, what a. Yeah, what a. A hundred plays, a hundred deaths, zero wins. I'll tell you who's not winning, me. Although I am enjoying playing this game again, I suppose. Let's have a quick look at my timer. 17 minutes. And that probably means I'll have to buy a new hard drive for all this recording space. Right. We made ourselves a nice path, but like an idiot, I didn't take it. Luckily, there was a thing we could use. Get out of it. And you can die as well, you green wanker. Frickin' astro bastard. Busting out some moves, eh? Whew. Splendid. Level 9 complete. You know, who needs a shotgun when you've got a trusty rock? Rock pones all. See? It's doing a great job. Good work, rock. Oh, I don't... Pot is not a good friend. Rock is what you want. Blow him away, please. More bombs. Well, I suppose that's a fitting reward. Oh! See, Rocky even finds a way to the exit. Splendid. <laughs> okay. Oh, good lord. Um, you know what? I'm gonna use a bomb here. It gives my better judgment. Okay, man. More bombs. This game really doesn't want me to have bombs. God. What I wouldn't give for a jetpack right about now. I'll just go for it. I'm not gonna bother trying to get that crate. No, my luck. It probably had a jetpack in it. 
Ah, now there's nothing over there. I'm hoping this will be a world with a jetpack. Yes, the legendary jetpack, which I've spoken about all the way through this world. Come with me, damsel. Oh, you can go over there. Actually, no, it's not looking like it. Whew. And yes! Finally! I can show you all the fourth and final world before the boss. We go in with five lives. I probably won't be able to remember enough, but we could get to the boss. Defy all expectations. Now, if you blow this guy up, it really is great as you get an amazing weapon called the Scepter. Be be careful. If you cross his path, he will release a horde of um, uh, locusts. Now this is great, because look at it. It homes on enemies and ass rapes them. So if you can get it, do so. Woo! Now, the music really does pick up here. I'm being careless here. I really am. Although it does take a while to home on them, that's the only downside. Drop that. This world I find is very similar to the first in terms of the architecture. But let's go. Level 13 complete. Now, dare I say, if I actually make it to the final boss, you've really got to be careful. The final boss, you need a lot of supplies. You need bombs, ropes, the whole shebang. And yes, I mean the whole shebang. Those things are annoying, because they drop on you. The scepter fits, but nothing is happening. The final part is velocity of gold, but you need everything else for it. Those guys are really annoying, because they jump around everywhere. Oh, this is nerve-wracking. Now the final boss, if we do get to him, he is tough. This game is determined not to let me. Don't even walk on that thing. It's instant death. So we're going to blow it up. Rather safe than sorry. But I'm getting a feeling if we do get to the final boss, we're not going to have anywhere near enough bombs. And it's, uh... Uh, not bombs, ropes. It's awkward because we've got one more world left until we do get to the final boss. If we do. And you can use a scepter on the mummy. You can use his own weapon against him. Whew. Oh, please be a sharp. I've not done the final boss in ages. I can't remember what happens if you steal the idol for that, but I'm not prepared to find out. Level 15 complete. Here's the final boss, guys. Do not underestimate this guy at all. Now run out firing, because this guy will get up very soon, and he will pwn you. Now, you may be wondering how you beat this guy, because you can't actually hit him. Basically, what you do is you have to make him smash his way through the whole floor. But in the process, he will let off things like um, bats and... Yeah, see that? He is letting off monsters. This is why this weapon rocks for the final boss fight. Now, I can't believe it, but if I actually do beat him, I'm going to be... So impressed, but it's been too long. You want to try and get the ground as flat out as you can, um, but not too flat. This is ideal when you need ropes because you've got to get your way back up. So we need him to even out this bit over here. The key with this boss is take your time, seriously. Keep firing a few of these out because they will home on monsters. 
He will only drop uh, heavily if you're underneath him. Like this. Now what you can do is you can cheat and drop a bomb. And it's re revealed an item actually. Well he has. Oh, I think this might be very stupid. Yep. Oh god. Spiders, yet again, the bane of your life. Move this way, my friend. Mm, not what I was hoping for. Though he's near the bottom. Oh god. <laughs> um This is looking very interesting, to say the least. If I beat this guy, I'm gonna be really annoying because I haven't got the final shortcut. <sighs> I need him to level out this area a bit. Yeah again, don't risk anything. Oh. No oh, god! Been very stupid here. Eh? Right, cheat and let all bombs go. We're gonna need a rope for that. I'm not even sure we're gonna be able to get our way back up. Whoa! Oh! I forgot he could side move. Well, there you go. At least I showed you the final boss, and it's painstaking that we almost actually got him. But like I said, with the final boss, you need to be well equipped. I recommend like a jetpack or a cape, a load of bombs, a load of ropes. But it just wasn't to be. Oh dear. Having shown you the final world and the final boss, I'm gonna actually um end the recording process here, and when it's come back, play some more Splunky. See you next time, guys.